Hi guys welcome You know animatronics refers to use of robotics to emulate human or animal characteristics Many movies like ET e. the koi mil gaya jadoo characteristics the terminator are all robots they are made from servo motor like this so we are going to make our own robots for this you need a control circuit to generate the pulse this is a 555 timer ic based circuit you need to provide this kind of pulses to rotate the servo motor using this circuit now let's power up the circuit and rotate and vary the pulse width you can see the motor is rotating now to make the mechanical body you need lot of tools like this we'll be making the body using aluminum channels aluminum sheets we have made this so many parts handmade parts here are the dimensions i'm going to explain the dimension of each one let's take the first this is the mechanical part one which i made from this channel by cutting and bending this channel here is the dimensions this is to feed the first servo motor so place the servo motor like this and tightly fit it with screw and nuts the second part is this the dimensioner here this is for the forehead so at the center of the part 1 fix it with a screw now we will be making the part 3 which will be used to hold the eye balls so first cut a aluminum sheet like this and then bend using a plier give it a shape like this you have to make two pieces here are the dimensions now i'm going to feed this on the part 2 remember the screws are facing outside tightly fit both the sides Now the fourth mechanical part is the upper eyelid. This is the shape we have cut from the aluminum sheet. Give it a curve shape. Use your hand because these are thin aluminum sheet. Bend both the end 90 degree. This will be used as notch. to connect with the eyeball holder these are the dimensions now connect that with the eyeball holder which is the part 3 like this make sure it is freely moving i have painted both the eyelids with brown color part 5 is the eye ball collect a rubber ball cut it into two pieces at the center i made two holes now i have painted the eye balls on top of it and for the glaziness i coated with a transparent colorless nail polish now fit it in on top of the screw like this now the eyelids has small holes use that to 
connect it with the servo using a strong metal wire this wire you can get it from a safety pin or a paper clip like this you connect both the eyelids with the servo motor now we are going to make this upper and lower jaw here are all the dimensions and then i colored the the teeth on it the next seven, eight and nine part are the two clamps here are all the dimensions now take the upper jaw and fit the servo motor too tight it with screw and nut there Then fit the lower jaw. There is a hinge joint. Make sure it is freely moving. Now connect the lower jaw with the submotor using a wire. This big clamp will now help to attach the upper part with the jaw part use a big screw to attach these two at the front there is one more place to fit another screw Now to make this structure strong you have to place one more clamp at the side so i have placed now i have connected on an aluminium stand like this and i'll be controlling changing the variable register here is the mouth movement this is the eye movement This is the eye movement from the side. I hope you liked. You can try your own. Bye.